This video covers steps for installing the Graco Recline and Ride 3-in-1 car seat featuring on-the-go recline in rear-facing mode with in-right latch. We'll go over step-by-step -step instructions to help ensure your car seat is installed securely. Before getting started, have your car seat manual and your vehicle's manual on hand. And make sure your vehicle is on level ground. Graco supports the American Academy of Pediatrics and National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's car seat guidelines. Please review this information before proceeding. In rear-facing mode, you can use a latch installation if your child weighs 35 pounds or less. If your child weighs more than 35 pounds, install your car seat using the vehicle seat belt and refer to the rear-facing with vehicle seat belt installation video. First, remove the in-right latch connectors from the storage compartment located at the bottom of the seat. For easier installation, extend the latch strap to its maximum length by pressing the gray button and pulling on the strap. Next, check the recline foot. The label shown here shows the correct position for rear-facing and forward-facing. If the recline foot is in the incorrect position, flip the recline foot over. Push the base against the vehicle seat and make sure the recline foot is making contact with the vehicle seat. Make sure the stability foot fully rests on the vehicle seat. Check the level indicator to ensure the bubble is in the blue zone for a rear-facing car seat installation. Adjust the recline if necessary until the bubble is completely within the blue zone. Attach both in-right latch connectors to the vehicle's lower anchors. The latch strap should lie flat and not be twisted. Make sure you hear a click, then pull on the latch connectors to make sure they are secure. Press down firmly in the front of the car seat while tightening the latch strap. This can be done by pulling the latch strap through the rear-facing belt path or the booster belt path. Finally, go through this checklist to make sure the installation is correct. Test for tightness. Grab the sides of the seat where the in-right latch strap is routed and slide the seat side to side and front to back. The seat shouldn't move more than one inch in any direction. If the seat moves more than one inch, pull on the latch strap to remove slack. Repeat until the seat moves less than one inch. Check the level indicator again to make sure the bubble is still completely in the blue zone. If not, adjust the on-the-go recline until the bubble is within the blue zone. Check the harness. For rear-facing car seats, harness slots should be at or below the child's shoulders. Raise or lower is needed to ensure the harness is in the right position. Do the pinch test. Tighten the harness strap snugly by pulling on the front adjuster strap. If you can pinch the harness strap at the child's shoulders, the straps are too loose. Check the chest clip. Once buckled in, ensure the chest clip is at armpit level on your child. Raise or lower as needed. If you have all check marks, then you have a successful installation.